Hey guys, today I want to talk about checkups. Recently, I just talked to a friend of mine and I hadn't talked to him in a while. Probably hadn't talked to him maybe in about six months on the phone. He's a friend of mine from way back, back in the States. He lives down in Cebu. And um, he found out he had colon cancer. Fortunately, he was able to get it removed and he still has to get the chemotherapy, but you know, it could have been fixed sooner. And he wishes he probably had done the, the colonoscopy, of course. But that's it, it's a big reason for all of us to go out and get our colonoscopy every five years. You're supposed to get it done every five years. Not just that. You know, get, get, your, get your cholesterol checks and your blood checks, your sugar, your blood pressure. Go in and see a doctor every three months. Most doctors here are six bucks. Six dollars to go in and get a checkup and then you just got to pay the extra things for the cholesterol checks and things like that but it's 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 not like back home it's cheap a lot of guys oh i want to save my money so i have, have money to go out and do this this and this what's more important than your health you know when you lose your health you wish you had it back and it's hard to get that back sometimes you have to fight for it it's a fight when you get cancer or it's a fight when you have some of these issues when you start getting high blood pressure and you have a stroke or something like that you never get your full health back sometimes. It's really, really hard once you have a stroke or a heart attack or things like that. It's hard to get your health back. Some people are lucky and they can. Some people are not. But for the prices that you pay over here, it's easy to stay on top of your health over here. Get out and walk once a day. Go to the mall. It's nice and cool there to walk. You know, I go there, I try to do 10,000 steps whenever I can. I try to do steps. If my back's not bothering me, I'm out there do doing a doing my steps at the, at the um, mall here. You know, actually, that actually helps people that have bad backs. I don't know if you guys out there know that. If you have sciatica, get out there and walk. But when I get home, usually my pain is not gone, but it certainly helps it. It lessens the, the feel of that pain that I have in my back. So if you guys got back pain, things like that, blood pressure, walking again helps you. Um, helps you reduce your cholesterol because you're working things through your, you know, all this stuff through your system faster. Drink a lot of liquids. It's another thing you should do to lower your blood pressure. Drink more liquids. Drink teas. Drink water. Um, drink, what, you know, whatever's good for you to make sure that you have a lot of liquids in your system to wash all this stuff out. Not Coca-Cola like me. Um, I've started s switching over to a lot of water lately. And um, I, I have... I have boxes and boxes of water in my house now so that I don't run out. And um, my girlfriend stays on top of me too. She gives me lemon water in the morning or lemongrass water in the morning. And when you guys are, you know, out and about, you happen to go by like a uh, one of these small health buildings where, you know, we can get, get a checkup or something done or, or you're a regular doctor. If you have a primary care physician or if you don't have a primary care physician, you should get one. You should get one right here in my town. I get the I get the best primary care physician you could ever ask for. I, I I love her to death. She's the nicest lady, and she she just knows what she's doing. And we work together on things. A lot of doctors back in the states they think they're Mister Know It Alls or Miss Know It Alls and stuff, and they're not the greatest doctors. They don't work with their patients, and I find the doctors over here work with their patients, and that's huge for all of us as expats to have a good doctor that's willing to work with us that understands us, understands who we are and what we're looking to get done over here for our health. A lot of times I like doing medications that are not prescribed medicines, medicines, but are herbal medicines. And sometimes the herbal medicines can be just as good as the prescribed medicines. And I'm finding that, that out because I, I have pre-diabetes and I'm on the border and I know I can get it down to where um, I'm not pre-diabetic at all it's it's not that hard but i started taking metformin anyway just to get it down and it started raising my creatinine levels so after that i was like okay what do i do next so i started thinking about using cinnamon uh, berberin berberin is actually almost the same as metformin it, it works the same way as metformin. It's as, as, as good as metformin. It might even actually be better because it's healthier for you. Cinnamon. Although there's a lot of um, things like umpalaya and, and, and mar moringa. Um, 
There's a few other ones that you can get too. But there's all, all kinds of Philippine herbs that you can get that are good for your sugar. Even um, mango leaves, things like that. They're, they're good, good for you. They're good for people that are pre-diabetic or have high sugar levels or what have you. Get stuff like that. You can fight it and see how it works. Start checking your, your, your um, sugar. You can also get these things that go in your arm here. Um, and they have them back in the United States too. It measures your sugar for 30 days on your phone. It, it sends this thing to your phone. So it's constantly telling you about your sugar, where your sugar is. And you, it's, it's a good thing for people that are pre-diabetic so you know how to take care of your sugar better because it's telling you your levels all the time. So you don't have to keep pricking your finger or whatever. It puts two little probes in your arm and they stay in there. They barely go in at all. It sticks those two probes in your arm and that way there you can follow your sugar levels. And it's good for pre-diabetics because of the fact that, you know, you can, you can, you can learn more to manipulate your blood sugar levels so that you're healthier and you're not spiking your, your sugar or anything like that because that's bad for you. And it's also bad for your kidneys. And there's another thing your kidney levels, uh, like I was talking about with the creatinine, um, creatinine can go up from a lot of medications and I take medications for pain. I take, uh, med medications for, uh, muscle to relax my muscles, um, things like that. And I've had to stop some of those for a while, which creates more pain in my body. But if I didn't stop them, my creatinine levels in my kidney would just be gone. So I have to deal with a certain amount of pain all the time. So I have to, de I have to either heat up my back or um, get a, a, a massage or what have you to help my back. But there are ways around things and then you, you, you can use less medication. And I always am a person of use less medication to stay healthier. Sometimes you have to take cer certain medications like blood pressure pills and things like that. But part of that also is losing weight drinking that water to get the salt out of your system, things like that. Get, you know, and eat more fiber. That helps you also lower your blood pressure. Um, there's a lot of things on the list that you can do to stay healthy. Right now, I'm, I'm at a point now where I know I gotta lose a little bit of weight. Now, I'm not really overly, overly big, but I do know that I need to lose some weight. And part of that is, is just cutting back and eating better, but also, the berberine helps you lose weight. It's a herb that helps you lose weight. So for you guys out there, always look at alternatives. Just keep in touch with your doctor while you're doing these alternative med medicines and tell her what's going on. Check your sugars, check, check your blood, get your colonoscopy checked, check your cholesterol. Maybe you need to start going, eat. You know, during the day I love to snack and my girlfriend started buying cucumbers just recently. And I saw her sitting there eating cucumbers. I'm saying, well, I like cucumbers. It's one of, one of the things that I do like. Um, and I like them just eating them raw because they're kind of crunchy and they're good to eat. They're, they taste delicious. And I saw her eating that and I'm saying, you know, I could do that. I could do that when I'm hungry. I could, I could eat some of that, you know, and, and it would get rid of my cravings and stuff. And that's, that's, that's part of it. When you're going on a diet, you're, you're fighting off those cravings. You're, you're craving steak or something like that. But I also crave something crunchy, something deep, you know, that tastes delicious. And, and you can get fruits and stuff like that that also help you. But be careful, guys. When you're doing, when you, whenever you're doing herbs or you're changing your diet or anything, always go in to see your doctor and talk to your doctor about it to make sure you're doing the right thing. Don't quit medicines without talking to your doctor. See if your doctor's okay and, and your doctor's on board with you changing to a herbal medicine or to a diet or whatever. You don't want to just slice off your medications and say, all right, I'm going to start doing this. And then it doesn't work because you might be different, you know. But I did find that the berberine does help. The berberine does help my sugar and does lower my sugar levels. And that's a great thing. But guys, make sure that you go out and get your colonoscopy. Go out and get your teeth checked every six months. We're older now. We need to get checked more often than not. Used to be you didn't have to worry about it for years when you're younger and you're running around and you're, you're busy, you're busy and you're um, athletic and you're, you're just, you know, now that we're getting into our 50s, 60s and 70s, it's time to go out and get checked up. Make sure guys, stay healthy. God bless, take care. Hope you enjoyed today's show guys. God bless.